Hey fellow YouTubers, this is N0AGI. This is the part two of the 3 DOF project um, for my home cinema room. Uh, this is a proof of concept still, so this is the part two of that project. So what I'm here to do uh, is to quickly show you the app uh, I was referring to in my part one of this video. Um, so I have this uh, Xbox 360 controller hooked up to my laptop uh, here. Uh, through just a regular standard USB cable. Uh, you could also do this through wireless, but I opted to do uh, through cable, so not a big deal. But uh, so I have this connected up to my PC, and then what you're seeing here in front of you is the app I wrote in uh, .NET and C Sharp. And so let me show you first. Um, what this app does and uh, really the intent of this app is to uh, record uh, a, a timeline based Q file. A Q file like I discussed in part one will allow you to uh, record a series of events for each of the four uh, actuators uh, namely to go forward, to go backward, to go left, to go right to go diagonal forward left and diagonal forward right, rear uh, diagonal and uh, left diagonal and right diagonal in the rear. So really that is the intent of this tool is to record uh, the series uh, of those events uh, through the, um, by capturing the events on this uh, joystick, right? So um, for example, I have the app running now and I have the controller here. So when I push this joystick forward, you want the the front two actuators. Um, uh, actually, I had this reversed. So when you push this forward, you want the rear two actuators to go up and the front two actuators to go down. So, okay, actually, you know what? Let me step back. I'm going to fix this right away and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's fixed now. Uh, so let me uh, press forward uh, on this uh, joystick here. When you press forward, as you can tell, the, the rear two actuators go up, the forward two actuators go down, and the red color indicates uh, the going up. And then when you pull it back, all, all of those four actuators go down. Now when I go backward, the front two actuators go up and the rear two actuators go down. When I go left, the right two actuators go up and the left two go down. Likewise, on the when I go right, the left two actuators go up. And then I have programmed, uh, here let me, I programmed the left trigger and the right trigger buttons and the left top button and the right top button also. So when I press the left trigger, that's the going left diagonal and you can tell the the three actuators go up and the front left or the top left actuator goes down when I press this trigger it's the diagonal going right when I press this top it's the the rear right diagonal and then when I press this one the left right diagonal now if I want all of those four actuators to go up I would press the Y button it would go up when I press the A, it would all go down. Okay, of course, it doesn't show up visually, but it goes down. So um, it's fairly straightforward to program the, the Xbox controller uh, in .NET through uh, Windows Universal Programming APIs. They are readily available. You can download them. Um, in fact, it's part and parcel of your Visual Studio uh, IDE. Uh, you have to make sure that you enable the proper references in your in your IDE to take advantage of those APIs. Uh, of course, I won't go into those details in this video, but uh, if you look up uh, any uh, um, uh, internet searches, you can find a ton of information on how to take advantage of the Windows Universal API, so Windows Universal Programming APIs. So the Xbox controller is part of the gaming API, and then you can tap into those APIs fairly straightforward. So anyways, I have this controller now programmed. Now what we need to do, let me actually see if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, what I'd like to do is um, once I record, um, I want to be able to press the, the start button and have the tool record 
the timeline and the cues and the stop button will stop the recording and when I record it basically what it does is it it keeps track of the timeline um, it keeps track of the timeline and the series of events that take place across a timeline so let me show you an example I have the um, I have the controller here let me zoom out a little bit I'm gonna press the start button so let's see up down, left, right, forward left, diagonal right, rear right, or diagonal right, diagonal left, all up, all down, let's do forward and backward and let it stop. Now I'm done with the recording when I say stop. Um, it spits out this timeline coding here. Basically it keeps track of the time and the keys that were pressed and the duration of the time. So when I play this, let's see if I can play this and you can watch what happens with these buttons here when I play it. Play. Forward. I'm not pressing my joystick anymore. Uh, it's actually playing through the timeline, uh, as you can tell. Okay. Now it's playing the cue file, and that's the real intent of this tool: is to capture the recording, and then save the file into a cue file, and then synchronize. That'll be a part three where I would synchronize this file with the visual or the video clip uh, but for now um, that's the quick uh, demo of the tool now that you have the cue file ready you just need to articulate or or map the play sequence with the actuators in the um, in the physical world so for example when when this button uh, goes red you want to actuate the the top left actuator and likewise so so basically mapping these red uh, or the basically mapping rather the the Q file with the actuators as a Q, as the application runs through the Q file so really that's it uh, just a quick demo um, and I can maybe show you um, uh, very quickly I don't know if this is any helpful at all but basically this is a C sharp file I wrote um, it took me maybe 45 minutes to an hour um, and uh, and basically it is the um, let's see if I can uh, um, let's see if I can zoom in or maybe not all right Okay, so um, it uses the gaming dot input um, namespace. That's part of the the Windows Universal Programming Reference APIs. All right, so once you get a hang of that, I think it's fairly straightforward. Uh, you basically tap into its um, uh, the, it's called a reading control or controller readings is the property you want to tap into uh, that'll let you take care of it. All right. With that, thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk soon.